How you doing, uh, man? Pretty good. How big was playing for Team USA in the past World Cup for you? Uh, yeah, you know, it was a great experience. Um, it was a great experience to travel, great experience to play with a lot of talented guys uh, and represent my country. And you know that Jordan Clarkson was important from the Philippines. Mm -hmm. Did you guys link up well? You guys were yeah, um, you know, we he was pretty busy. Uh, they actually, they were practicing pretty late at night. So I, whenever I was free, he was practicing. Uh, so we didn't link as much as we'd like, but um, you know when we got back in training camp, obviously got back to it. Were you amazed on how big he was back in the beach? Yeah, I mean he's he's a oh my gosh, he's a celebrity, more than a celebrity. I mean it, it's ridiculous. You know people kiss the ground he walks on um, over there, and you know it's it's really cool. Being part of Team USA in the, in the past uh, World Cup, how do you plan to you know please make the team again in this one? Sort of yeah, you know just control that control. Um, Keep working hard, keep trying to attain that goal, and just, you know, keep doing me. Yeah. Hey, Walker. Yeah, from the Philippines, too. Uh, just wanted to talk about All Star last year. Mm -hmm. It really seemed like Jordan was, we were calling him Mayor of Utah. A lot of, a lot of things <laughs> revolved around him. Yeah, yeah. You know, he wasn't an All Star, but it seemed like he really had the pulse of the city. Can you talk about, you know, what he means off court to the city of Utah? I mean, he's an unbelievable guy um, obviously very skilled ta uh, talented player but more than that just a high character guy you know a great teammate and for the city of Salt Lake City and just the, the state of Utah I mean he's you know he, he's unbelievable um, he's the kind of guy you want to be the face of your program and you know he's, he's a stand-up dude and uh, earlier in practice we saw you with with your uh, teammates for a day mm -hmm. it seemed like you guys really were able to form a quick connection yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the vibes were great a lot of laughs a lot, a lot of uh, a lot of light heckling between yeah. each other, a lot of games um, is is that something that you think is easy to achieve in a in a setting like this or did you know it was really special from the get um you know i think it just it just depends you know i think that all the guys uh, understood we wanted to win. Um, you know, we wanted that price money. So, um, you know, we went out there and achieved it. Thanks a lot. Of course. Well, tell me a little bit about the, those two days, uh, how amazing it was. Uh, how did you enjoy it? Well, it's not the first time for you, but. You mean just the Rising Stars in general? Yeah, it's been great. Um, you know, second time around, uh, it's been a great experience, you know, playing with a lot of talented guys and just trying to soak up as much as I can. This is your second year. What? Now, what, what surprised you the most in those two years? You know, I think that from the first year to the second year, you know, going into the first year, not a lot of people know who you are. Um, and then going into the second year, you know, you're on scouts and people kind of have it out for you a little more. You know, instead of having one guy box you out, it's three guys boxing you out. Um, so just stuff like that. If you have to choose uh, in the league, not in the West Ham, mm -hmm. who's the toughest guy you have to play against? Oof. Probably either Jokic. You can, you can choose two or three. Jokic or Embiid, <laughs> probably. Those guys are those guys are pretty tough covers. And why? Just because they're so skilled. Um, and they're they're their size. They're huge, and you know they're super smart. They're high volume shooters, high volume scorers, but also you know be able to do many things, share the ball, play defense. Um, so I suppose you will say the name of him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can make that argument too. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, you know, I think, uh, like I was saying before, just the fact that you're not really flying under the radar anymore. Um, you know, more people know who you are, know what kind of game you have. Um, so people kind of scout against that and, you know, can lock you up a little more. How are you uh, I wouldn't say I'm not necessarily being told, but you can just recognize it. Um, you know, I, I think that last year I made myself known as kind of a, an offensive rebounder. Um, and instead of one guy trying to box me out, it's multiple guys. Um, but trying to be improved is understanding that when there's three guys boxing me out, that means that two other guys have no box out. Um, so just, you know, trying to have a positive mindset and control what I can control. Can you get the same wrap up for the, yep. the whole Rising Stars? Rising Stars. Concluded, got the dub, uh, feeling good, got the prize money. Not that it's all about money, but it's pretty nice. Um, so, yeah, going to go back home for a couple of days and get back to Utah and get to it. Yeah, of course. This is your second year in this kind of event. Mm. And what aspect do you think you develop more and more in the focus you get here and being around? Yeah, you know, I think um, 
obviously being around a lot of guys that are extremely talented, you know, it's only going to make yourself better. Um, and I think that being an older guy, trying to, you know, not necessarily inspire, but just try to help the younger guys do anything they can. Um, obviously, I'm still a young guy, too. I'm not saying I'm some vet or anything, but, you know, we, we've been here before, at least one year. Um, and any experience is, you know, good experience. So. Oof. Right now, actually, my brother and I are doing a rerun of Dark Souls 3. Right now. Yeah. <laughs> pretty fun man uh no not yet not yet no i mean i know it's a dark souls like game or souls like whatever but not yet man i'm gonna get to it though i'm gonna get to it i did i did play god of war though ragnarok yeah not the dlc no yeah i gotta get, i gotta i gotta get back into it man gotta get back into it <laughs> i have a little bit a little bit of course man Walker, I wanted to ask about the G League team you guys just mm. played. Watching that first game as they're kind of building that lead a little bit and, and they're kind of sensing that. What did you kind of glean from them and, and kind of their effort? Oh, I got you a little bit on that. <laughs> what? <laughs> got me bad, man. Really bad, but it's part of it, man. What are you going to do? Yeah. Of course, man. Of course, man. How are you doing? How are you doing, man? Good to see you, man. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Ah. Yeah, I appreciate it. I don't age. <laughs> yeah. I can ask you one because I missed you this morning real quick. Mm. Who's the last guy in the jazz that you'd ever want to be stuck on an island with? Ooh, last guy. Ooh, that's a tough question. <laughs> Golly. What do you, Someone told me THT today. Ah, uh, that's a good one. Keontae told you that Correct. one for sure. Yeah. I don't want to give any names. Yeah. Um, you know, I'm going to go Keontae, man. I don't know. Wow. I, I think he's gonna be he's gonna be goofing off and before you know it you know he's gonna like he's gonna cost us our lives I don't know man I, yeah I, he's he's not gonna take it serious that's I'm gonna say Keontae. I love that let me ask you this real quick if you had to choose one person in NBA history that you wish you could have been teammates with at one point Ooh. you'd be one guy who's your dream ideal teammate present or past that's tough that's really tough um golly that's really tough right. So yeah. Make a little compilation. Everyone's yeah. answers. Yeah. What, what are some What are some answers? I, I the, the, big, the big name guys. But I mean, to, yeah, but I want to try and like, I don't want to say like Michael Jordan. I right? love that you're gonna. Yeah. yeah. Let, let me let me think. Let me say yeah. it. Let me say I, it. I was kind of walking for some. Kind um. Of thing. You know what would be really cool? Tell me. Yeah. Um. The Admiral. Great. Answer. Yeah, that'd be a cool one. Why this, David? This, I, I think like yeah. trying to go against him in practice and stuff and like. I don't know. Yeah, I just I just try to think of something obscure and some guy that's just a bruiser. Yeah, I love that. And then one more real quick. Who's the one guy who's like high on your to-do list that you, you got to bang on one day? Like, you just got to get him. Dunk on? Yes. Um, yeah. <laughs> who's the one guy you're trying to dunk on? I, I don't know, on man. List? I don't really like. You've had a bunch of posters already. Yeah, so. Uh, Is there a guy that's gotten you you're trying to get him back? Nah, it's kind of the part of the trade, man. It's occupational hazard. Um, I think my teammate, my old college teammate Jabari, probably is one. Yeah. That would be nice. Yeah. yeah. I can talk smack, text him later too. Would you? Yeah. Oh, for sure. And then he try to go at you after. Oh, for sure. <laughs> no question. I love that. Yeah. yeah. Of course, man. Good to see you, Brad. Yeah. How you doing? How much do you feel like you know the G League comes out? They have this energy. They have something to prove. They're yep. A little bit of a different position. How much do you feel like that impacts the effort they play with, and how much? Yeah, you know, no question. Um, you know, they came out to win that first game and the second game, um, and I think that it showed. And they actually have you know a lot of chemistry because a lot of them have played together um, for a while. So you know, they were they played hard and they were running sets and pick and rolls and all sorts of stuff. So it was it was a fun game though. Obviously, you guys aren't a team. You guys are just put together for, right. the, for the weekend. But yeah. Do you guys feel a sense of chemistry on your way to winning? The no question. Title? No question. Um, you know, I think that all the guys understand that we're all, you know, when we're not on the same team, we're all in the NBA. Um, and we're all cool with each other and understanding that. I think that we wanted we wanted to win because it's a little bit of cash prize and pride. But you know, so we we understand we need to lock in and you know got the job done. Like going going forward, you know, what can you guys take away from this event as a bunch of young players, you know, playing on a big stage like this at the All-Star? Yeah, you know, I think that for me personally, it's kind of seeing the guys that are 
like in the, the elite of the, the young league and trying to, you know, move up along with them because um, these guys, are, you know, we're going to be playing against for the rest of our careers. You mentioned, you know, you got to win because there's the cash and there's the pride. Yeah. What, what comes first in that list? What's one and two? Cash uh, and pride? <laughs> I don't, uh, I, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I would say probably pride. And then a very, 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 very close second is cash. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thank you. Of course. Happy to do it. Yeah. <laughs> Doing well, man. Yes, a different question. When you were playing the World Cup, what was it about you the most about playing against the European teams with the Yeah. Um, obviously, they're very skilled, uh, very skilled players, very physical players. Um, play to win. I mean, they, they were playing every game like it was their last game. Um, you know, and just extremely, extremely tough opponents to play. Uh, you think, uh, I know that you know how the Super Games uh, play uh, with different tournaments, but you think that uh, uh, after what happened in the World Cup, like, uh, European basketball is closing the gap with the behind terms of, of, of uh, the level of the game? Yeah, you know, you could definitely say that. Um, you know, I think just playing against them for so long, you know, the, the gap's definitely um, slimming up a little bit. Yeah. Got it. Awesome.